Mary is beginning to speak and I become silent. Mary says, I will not speak much because you are very tired, my poor daughter. I only wish to draw your attention and the attention of readers to the constant habit of Joseph and mine of giving priority to prayer. Tiredness, haste, worries, occupations never hindered our prayer. On the contrary, they helped it. It was always the queen of our occupations, our relief, our light, our hope. If in sad moments it was a consolation, in happy ones it was a song. But it was always the constant friend of our souls. It detached us from the earth, from our exile, and it raised us up towards heaven, our fatherland. Not only I, who by now had God with me, and I had but to look at my bosom to worship the Holy of Holies. But also Joseph felt united to God when he prayed. Because our prayers were a true adoration of our whole beings. Which melted with God by worshipping him. And by being embraced by him. And please note that not even I, although I had the eternal God in me, not even I felt exempted from respectful homage to the temple. The deepest holiness does not exempt anyone from feeling a mere nothing with regard to God and from converting such nothingness into an endless hosanna to God's glory, since he allows us to do so. Are you weak, poor, faulty? Invoke the holiness of the Lord, holy, holy, holy. Invoke the blessed one to assist you in your misery. He will come and instill his holiness into you. Are you holy and rich in merits in the eyes of God? Invoke the holiness of the Lord just the same. It is infinite and will increase yours. The angels, who are superior to the weaknesses of mankind, do not cease singing their sanctus, not even for an instant. And their supernatural beauty increases with each invocation of the holiness of our God. Imitate the angels. Never divest yourselves of the protection of prayer, which blunts the weapons of Satan, the malice of the world, the incentives of the flesh and mental pride. Never lay down this weapon, which causes heaven to open and pour out its graces and blessings. The world needs a shower of prayers to be purified from the sins that draw punishments from God. And since only a few people pray, those few must pray as if they were many. They must multiply their living prayers to make up the necessary amount to obtain graces. Prayers are living when they are flavoured with true love and sacrifice. My dear daughter, it is a good thing, pleasing to God and meritorious, that you should suffer because of the sufferings of my Jesus and mine, in addition to your own. Your sympathetic love is so dear to me. But do you want to kiss me? Kiss the wounds of my son. Dress them with the balm of your love. I suffered spiritually the pangs of the scourges, of the thorns, and the torture of the nails and of the cross. And likewise, I feel spiritually all the caresses given to my Jesus as they are as many kisses given to me. And then come, I am the Queen of Heaven. 
but I am always the mother. And there Mary stops speaking. And Maria Valtorta's final sentence is of herself, and I am happy. <laughs>